All right, just going to do a video on this recent story that came out out of Pakistan. Apparently, a group of armed Muslims attacked a Christian school and demanded a bunch of extortion money. You know, this is the example, another just another example of the wonderful uh, bloodthirsty fruit of Islam for you. We're going to read this article. It says, armed men attack Christian school in Pakistan's Punjab province, demand extortion money. Yeah, that's uh, Islam for you right there. We're going to continue on in the article. It says, it says, Islamabad, Pakistan, May 5th, 14 armed men attacked a Christian school in the Sheikh Hupata, Hupa, whatever, I'm not saying that right, city in, in Pakistan's Punjab province and demanded extortion money from the principal of the school as well as issued death threats if the school authorities failed to make the payment. The incident took place on April 29th at Global Passion School. School principal Simon Peter Kalim said that the armed men stormed the school, tortured staff, and damaged their vehicles. The school, managed by the Presbyterians, has been uh, providing free education and food to Christian students from brick killing families since 2018 reported Union Catholic Asian News. You know, of course, Roman Catholicism is a false religion, but just like Islam, but continuing on. It says the attackers hurled chairs at the children while they were praying in the hall at 11.30 a.m., according to the school principal. Quote, they attacked a security guard and demanded 100,000 rupees in extortion money every month, threatening that if their demand was not met, they would forcibly stop Christian worship and the school's operations, unquote, Kelim said in a first information report to local police. Again, just another more just displays of the fruit of Islam for you. That's This is, this is the fruit of Islam. Uh, quote, they misbehaved with the female staff and issued death threats if we failed to make the payment in two days. They also damaged staff cars and motorcycles parked in the building, causing an estimated total loss of 350,000 rupees. Uh, Kilim, who was also tortured, uh, was due to hold a press conference with the Sheikh Hooper, Hooper uh, Again, I'm probably not saying that right, but uh, district police and political leaders at the school on May 2nd reported to UCA News. Quote, many of our religious and political leaders while visiting their countries say that minorities and Christians are safe in Pakistan. After what happened to us today, I will never say that. Our security guard can't even walk now. Our community is threatened to keep silent, unquote. Kaleem said in a video posted on social media. Yeah, keep proving their... Their uh, Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12 ties. Continuing on, quote, A few among the neighboring Muslim community, community have always tried to stop us from praying. They literally demanded stopping the noise. And Kanjir Kana Rothel, uh, we want to be treated equally. Please, please pray for us. Quote, Last week's assault is the third attack on a church institution in the Punjab province this year, reported UCA News. In March, police in Lahore arrested Muslim youth who climbed onto the rooftop, rooftop of one in Christchurch and sat a one in Christchurch and sat on the on the cremant cross chanting Allah Akbar, which is Allah is great in Arabic, while trying to pull it down. In January, January police charged four people with blasphemy for ransacking Saint Kamilas Church in a village in Okra district in Punjab province. Not surprising one bit when you read Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12, how it says, you know, Ishmael will be a wild man. And remember, Muslims are the spiritual descendants of Ishmael. You see, wherever Islam goes, you're going to have terrorism against Christians like this. Wherever Islam goes, terrorism and violence and murder follow close behind. So I wanted to show you that just more examples of the, how the media will not cover this kind of stuff as well. So uh, just more examples that the media will not cover due to fears of being called Islamophobic, but just the reality of Christians under Islam. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.